This also from um, Mary Kay Cabot. So Ethan Posick likely to test the um, the free agent market. Browns feel good about Nick Harris. Um, and I guess at this point in time, we should point out Nick Harris had won the starting center job in training camp when he got hurt the first play of preseason. So um, with that backdrop, the Browns can't afford to keep paying offensive linemen tens of millions of dollars. That's not the way this works. Well, I mean, and to be fair, it's not that Nick Harris, you know, won the job. They essentially gave it to him. You know, the second that they found yeah. out, you know, that's how confident they were and that's how much and you know, a lot of people seem, you know, to forget that JC Trader never practiced. So Nick Harris was basically your starting center Monday through Friday. And then when JC Trader was ready to go each and every week for the game, you know, Nick Harris, you know, basically had to quietly back out into the background. Um, and let JC do his work. Um, the the center market, and it's going to be weird because there are going to be a lot of teams with needs at the center position. We've had guys retire. We've had teams move on from players. Uh, the Minnesota Vikings are going to move on from their longtime center. Um, it looks like the Arizona Cardinals starting center is going to retire. So it's going to be interesting how it works. Some centers are going to make a lot of money because, you know, there truly will be a competition you know, and you know there will be teams trying to get the best center available. You know, Ethan Posick, and it's funny because the Seattle Seahawks will be one of those teams in the center market. Um, you know, we'll see you know what their plans are. Um, but if you're Ethan Posick, look, you signed last year for one year league minimum. You put together an incredible season. People viewed you as one of the top center, top ten centers in the NFL. Um, you know, you went the good guy route. Um, you know, basically fought your way back in. And, you know, like any other guy in the NFL would do, hey, now it's my time to go get a check. Um, and if you're the Browns, if one year ago you were comfortable with Nick Harris um, and unfortunately he got injured and, you know, his season was over, I don't know what stops you from saying that we're confident in Nick Harris here in 2023, his final year with the team. And maybe signs maybe pointed to this when you went ahead and extended Jack Conklin. And maybe in the back of your mind, you said it's great that Ethan Post is playing as well as he is. Um, but, you know, we still wanted to give Nick's, Nick Harris that shot, and maybe now we'll get one last crack to do so.